Hello dear children welcome to the third class of structuralism in the last class we have learned about sushor and its concepts of sign signifier and signified the other major terms so today we will again look into sushor in a nutshell let's get into the slides so dear students structuralism as we have discussed it says human life to be understood in terms of relations interrelations several structuralists looked into several areas of studies last class we saw how claude levi strauss made structuralist analysis of culture and so shows thinking structuralism in terms of language and vladimir prop another structuralist he studied myths so he looked into language myths and culture and several other theorists looked into narratives interrelationship between elements of structure should be understood we have everything around us in a form of structure everything has a structure and inside that structure elements unite according to the relationship they have between each other structuralism this theory helps us to understand all the structures so sure father of modern linguistics we studied he taught at university of geneva and the lectures he gave in the university were published after his death in 1916 by his students itself we saw the students also the names of the students also it was published as a course in general linguistics in 1916 and the english translation came in 1959 he proposed that language was a system in which various components existed in relation to each other and we looked into the concept of lang and parole what do, what do you mean by lang the set of rules by which we combine lang means rules in that rules we combine words into sentences we construct a lot of sentences in our daily life according to certain rules only we construct sentence then only it would be meaningful to the other person so lang is the set of rules by which we combine words into sentences and we use certain words in certain ways and rules can't be altered it is rarely altered it is termed as lang and what do you mean by parole we discussed it is the everyday speech that we use or individual utterance that we use lang exist beyond speech lang exist beyond speech what do you mean by that lang exist beyond speech that means um if i say a word like tree if i am speaking about a tree when i utter the word tree tree has several meaning outside the meaning i intend tree can be home another meaning or tree can be umbrella like when it gets rain we go a uh, near a tree and we stand there as like an umbrella tree denotes a chair too like we sit in a on a tree branch so lang exist beyond the speech level and we say said uh, about so show moved away from historical study of language uh like he focused on the synchronic study that is he looked into the language 
in the current stage and he didn't looked into the history which is the diachronic study he didn't looked into the evolution but he looked the language at a particular point of time and he studied its structures and he laid the foundation of semiotics what do you mean by semi semiotics it is simply the study of signs that signs include words or signs include gestures or sounds or objects or visuals that generate meaning those are signs semiotics can be defined simply as the study of signs structuralists are interested in the interrelationship between units and rules units can be words rules that the way that words can be uh, put together how the words are put together that is according to certain rules in language so shaw looked into language in terms of structuralism units are words and the rules are the forms of grammar in which we order the words like um, my name is ashna my name is ashna i have formed the sentence according to a rule it will not be a meaningful sentence if i say is my ashna name there is no meaning in that we give meaning to the sentences according to the rules then then it is understood by the other person structure organizes units and rules into meaningful sentences it is inside a structure structure this units and rules together make a meaningful sentence in the structure of english language system see all human beings use some sort of structuring principles we believe we all are living in a structure school is a structure nation is a structure family is a structure so the properties of structure can be said as structure has wholeness or structure is capable of transformation or according to transformation it undergoes self regulation so how can you define that what is a structure wholeness system functions as a whole not as individual parts if we take a family uh, example of a family Uh, family functions as a whole father mother children constitutes a family we cannot say a family if a person is standing alone a family constitutes of father mother and children so like that structure also has wholeness the whole system whole structure of language and structure is capable of transformation that is structure is not a static or uh, but it is capable of change when new units are added into the system structure is capable of transformation to get transformed itself according to transformation it undergoes self regulation but basic structure will not be changed in that structure would remain the same but when it undergoes transformation uh, it transformation when it when it happens it itself self regulation would be there and the transformation of a system never lead to anything outside the system in case of language i told you uh, units are words and the rules are the forms of grammar in different languages grammar rules are different uh, because words are different grammar rules are different but the structure is same in all languages what is that structure words are put together within a grammatical system to generate meaning structure is same in all languages St uh, structuralist believe that underlying structures organize units and rules into meaningful systems and this is generated by human mind itself it is not um, existed before 
it is generated by human mind itself structuralists believe that underlying structures organize units and rules into meaningful system and it is generated by human mind itself and we looked last class we looked into uh, Sosho's idea on linguistics the nature of linguistic sign sign consists of concept and sound image uh, that is signifier and signified Sosho says sound image is the signifier concept is signified language gives shapes to ideas with language only we can present an idea without language we cannot even think we think on the basis of language right without language we cannot express ourselves we cannot think right so language gives us the reality then when you come into linguistic value we can say that value of a sign value of a word sign can be it constitutes of um, signifier and signified and this value of a sign linguistic value is determined by the whole system of signs used within a community value or um, of a sign is determined by the whole system of signs used within a community a sign cannot exist individually it is connected to other signs it is interrelated relationship within the language most important kind of relationship between units in a signifying system is a syntagmatic relation just for a sentence the most important kind of relation between units that can be words in a signifying system that generate meaning is a syntagmatic relation or a sentence on a sentence on the barimbo it is always a linear relation language is linear only right in a chain of sentence one unit is linked to the next if um, my father is an indian ipo my father is an indian ee naal signum oru sign mattonnilekku link ed link edana kedakkunnathu words are connected according to certain rules adu angane combine cheyidappalana namukku adinde oru meaning manasilavunnathu when you look into syntagms it is the combinations or relations within a sentence or combinations of several words in a sentence it is formed by position of that particular word or sign within a chain that is what you know uh, called as syntagms syntagms okay terms within a sentence acquire linguistic value because they stand in opposition to everything terms within a sentence about my father is an indian acquire linguistic value we get meaning out of it because they stand in opposition to everything each word is different from other words alle each word is different from other words each word each term is something ore vaakinum adinde thaa or meaning nammal kodukkunnundu because it is not something else in the sequence so i gave you the example cat is cat because it is not dog it is not um, mat it is not hat adu onnum illa cat cat aidu it is because it is opposite it lies opposite to other words each term is something because it is not something else in the sequence it is like that signs are stored in the memory according to associative relations uh, like adu nan last class la like, gave you the example uh, of a man cried our example nan thannirunu the man cried ipo man nu pagare namukku endu venengil use cheyam girl woman boy father mother everything we can use and these signs are stored in the memory according to these associative relations 
ആൻഡ് ജർമ്മൻ അതിന് പകരം ഓർ ഇസ് എൻ ഇന്ത്യൻ അതിന് പകരം എനിക്ക് ജർമ്മൻ അമേരിക്കൻ എന്താ സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റ് ടീച്ചർ എന്ത് വേണമെങ്കിലും നമുക്ക് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് പറ്റും ആൻഡ് സൊ ഷോ ഫോക്കസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ബൈനറി ഓപ്പോസിഷൻ സോ സയൻസ് ആർ സ്റ്റോർഡ് ഇൻ ദ മെമ്മറി അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു അസോസിയേറ്റീവ് റിലേഷൻസ് നമ്മുടെ മെമ്മറിയിൽ ഈ സയൻസ് ഒക്കെ സ്റ്റോർ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു the relations between the words um, like nouns namla we select a particular noun in a context adu pole we select a particular verb in a context from a um, from a lot of verbs okay it is defining now so show focused on binary opposition it is binary opposition is defining a unit of language against what it is not that means um black black ayad ad white allathadu kondana okay cat is a cat because it is not dog man lion language is a system of contrast onnu mattadu allathadu kondana adu adu pole avade nila nilkunnathu cat is a cat because it is not a dog cat ne cat nu nammal vilikkunnathu because aa oru vaaku adu dog o man o lion o allathadondana ningale aa aa oru word um aa oru adu tharunna aa oru image um eduthu maatuga ennatta words inde basis il maatramaanu idu edukkendathu cat is a cat cat c a t cat ennu paranjadhu nammal cat ennu parayunnathu kaaranam adu dog o man o lion o onnum allathathu ondana language ennu parayunnathu thanne is a system of contrast so binary opposition is an important thing and uh, sign composed of signifier and signified relationship between signifier and signified is arbitrary that we have already discussed and which are signifier and signified in tamil direct or connection illa there is no inherent connection between signifier and signified a speech community aanu നമ്മൾ ആ ഒരു കണക്ഷൻ കൊടുക്കുന്നത് ഇപ്പോൾ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് സംസാരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാവരും പൂച്ച എന്ന ജീവീനെ വി കോൾ ഇറ്റ് ആസ് കാറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് വി ഗിവ് സെയിം കണക്ഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ സിഗ്നിഫൈഡ് ആൻഡ് സിഗ്നിഫൈഡ് പൂച്ചയ്ക്ക് കാറ്റ് ഇസ് അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ആനിമൽ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് സ്പീച്ച് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ഓക്കെ അത് പക്ഷേ കാറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മലയാളം കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റിയിൽ കാറ്റ് ആയിട്ടല്ല അത് അസോസിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് വി അസോസിയേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വി ഗേവ് ദ നെയിം ഇറ്റ് ആസ് പൂച്ച and we looked into synchronic study diachronic study pin paradigmatic axis and syntactic axis nam kandadana paradigmatic axis is the axis of similarity similar words ipo example now man cried ennu parayumbo um cried ennu parayunathu oru vaada verbs il ninnulla selection aanu cried ennu parayunathu syntactic axis ennu parayunathu is the axis of contrast one word is different from other word we combine all these words to form a new sentence appo language is always in the form of paradigmatic uh, it functions in paradigmatic axis and syntactic axis okay and so show gave importance to speech over writing he gave importance to uh, speech more because speech guarantees the presence you feel the person when he is speaking ipo njan ningalode samsarikkumbo you feel it that i am speaking to you so speech guarantees the presence speech guarantees reason for you but writing is absence writing enu parayumbo is absence absence of the speaker undu alle avade avade words mathram aanu mumbil ullathu absence of the speaker is there so it will may it will not give you reason speech is presence and writing is about absence so uh, so shorande theory major aayittulla karyangale parayanengil uh, meaning is arbitrary karanam signifier and signified in tamil relation ennu parayunathu arbitrary aanu meaning is relational uh, the words are related um, to each other or the structure of language is like that relational language constitutes our world language aanu namukku reality tharunathu language constitutes our world so i told you about binary opposition that is a defining unit of language against what it is not
black is black because it is not white according to sushot binary opposition is the means by which the unit of a language or a word have value or meaning a sign gets its value linguistic value or meaning from the binary opposition each unit or word is defined in reciprocal determination with another term as i said black is black because it is not white presence absence good evil we can understand evil because good is there so show demonstrated that a sign's meaning is derived or meaning of a word is derived from its context and the group to which belongs and the group which that word or sign belongs appo uh, love ennu paranja oru vaakku allengil father ennu paranja vaakku adinu അതിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം വരുന്നത് അതിൻ്റെ കോണ്ടെക്സ്റ്റിൽ നിന്നും പിന്നെ അത് ഏത് ഗ്രൂപ്പിലാണ് ബിലോങ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ നൗൺ ആ ഒരു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നൗൺ എന്ന് പറയാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു റിലേഷൻഷിപ്സിൻ്റെ ഒരു ഇതിലാണെന്ന് പറയാം ഫാദർ മദർ സിസ്റ്റർ ബ്രദർ ആ ഒരു രീതിയിലാണ് അത് പെട്ടെന്ന് നമുക്ക് അസോസിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അങ്ങനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഒരു സൈൻ്റെ മീനിങ് നമ്മളെടുക്കുന്നത് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു സൊഷോർ so binary opposition is that according to sushor it is the means by which unit of language that is word words have value or meaning each unit is defined in reciprocal determination with another term sushor demonstrated that a sign's meaning is derived from its context and the group to which it belongs so uh, please go through all these things and uh, in the next class we will continue with claude levi strauss thank you happy learning